All right, so next we're gonna talk about conjugate thirds. Now, the root of x plus the root of y and the root of x minus the root of y are conjugate thirds. Now, the product of conjugate thirds is a rational number. All right, so before we move on to example nine, we need to be clear on what are conjugate thirds. So if you have the sum and the difference of um of um the sum and the difference of two thirds, um one is the conjugate of the other. So here we have the sum of root x and root y, and we have the difference of root x and root y. The sum of root x and root y and the difference of root x and root y are conjugate thirds. So it's the sum of the same two thirds and the what? The difference of the same two roots, they are called what? Conjugate thirds. Now, um, the note below it says the product of conjugate thirds is a rational number. Meaning that if I multiply um, conjugate thirds, I'm gonna get a number or something that is not a third. All right, um, let's need to remind people of something that root x times root x is actually equal to x. We can easily show that root x is the same as saying x to the half times x to the half, which is equal to x to the half plus a half, which is x to the one, which is just what x. So if I multiply root x by x, I'm going to get x. So let's have a go at example nine. Um, we're multiplying um, conjugate thirds. Um, they are binomials, so we're going to do a binomial expansion. So root x times root x is x. Root x times minus root y is minus root x, root y root y times root x is positive root x root y and root y times minus root y is minus y because root y times root y is um y now the middle which is what minus root x root y and plus root x root y when you add those together, you get zero. So ultimately what you have is what? Um, X minus Y. Now here's a note. Whenever you multiply two thirds, sorry, conjugate thirds, the middle term will always disappear. So it's always gonna be the square of the what? Left term minus the square of the right term. So, if somebody had given me this, I could have just saw, said that it is what? The answer for this is what? Root x squared minus root y squared. Root x squared is x, root y squared is y. I could have said that. So if you're multiplying conjugate thirds, the answer is always what? The square of the first term minus the square of the second term the middle two terms will always disappear because one is the one is positive and one is the negative and the two terms are the same. So, um, so something minus itself is zero. All right, let's have a go at example 10. All right, so example um, 10 is asking us to find the value of root um, root 5 plus 2 multiplied by root 5 minus 2. So if I want, I could do it the long way, the long way to say that root 5 times root 5 is 5. Root 5 times minus 2 is minus 2 root five, two times root five is plus two root five. 
and two times minus two is minus four. So this will turn out to be five minus four because the middle disappears and five minus four is one. Um, of course, I could have shortcut the process by simply saying that um, when you're, because the middle term will disappear, it's always gonna be what? It's almost like the difference of two squares. It's gonna be root five square minus two square. Root five square is five, two square is four. This is one. I could do it um, the way I did it on the left or the way I did it on the right. The answers came out to be the same. All right, examples 11 and 12. Um, this would be um, x minus four in one step. The answer is x minus four. But if, of course, if I wanted to lengthen the process or lengthen the solution, root x times root x is x. X times minus two is two, minus two root X plus two root X minus two times two, which is four. The middle disappear and I'm end up left with what? X minus four. All right, in 12, we're asked to show that the root of, sorry, that four plus root x plus two multiplied by four minus root x plus two is equal to 14 minus x. We're asked to show that. All right, so let's do our, let's multiply the two binomials. Four times four is what, 16. Then minus four, the root of x plus two. That's the middle term, which is gonna disappear plus four times the root of x plus two. And then the root of x plus two times minus the root of x plus two is simply x plus two. So it's minus x plus two. The middle disappears and we're left with what? 16 minus x plus two. I'm going to remove those brackets by applying distributive law. So we have what, 16 minus x, a negative times a positive is a negative, minus two. And finally, we end up with what, 16 minus two is 14 minus x. We're asked to show that it's equal to 14 minus x, and we did it.